Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I've got an odd one today. I call this using blur to focus titles. If you've got a title and you want someone to view the title, then you need to do something to the background, which is usually the video clip itself. And an easy thing to do is just blur it in. But if you use an adjustment layer, it's so easy. You can save it as a preset and reuse it. You can also use masks to focus blur. So we're focusing the focus of the blur so you can see the title. So let's look at our first example here. And then I've got a really elegant wedding example to show in the second one. So here we've got a couple of dancers and I've got this graphic title that pops up. and then the title goes away. And I mean, it's okay, but I just don't like the fact that her face is obscured and I want people to view the title. And I think in this case, there's so much graphically in your face, you don't know what to look at. So you have to help the viewer. You don't want to turn the video off behind it because that's clunky. Let's just blur it. And the way that we're doing that is with an adjustment layer. So let me just show you the result with the adjustment layer. Blur slightly, graphic comes up, title goes away, and it blurs. Boom, just like that. Very simple. Now you can't see her peeking over there. You know what it is, but you're, you, you are looking at this big graphic title in the front very easy to see. So let's build this adjustment layer. I'll delete that completely. And you can just right click in here and choose new item adjustment layer. You can click here and add new adjustment layer. It makes it the size of the sequence and we'll just drag that down. And adjustment layers don't have any effects on them uh, by default. So we're going to add a Gaussian blur on this effect adjustment layer. So there it is, double click on it. And if I set this to 40, it's going to blur it out. But right now it just pops on and then the blur stops. So much better just to have the blur come up. Now your first thought might be, well, why don't you just stick a dissolve on that? Let's show you what happens when we do that. I'm gonna click on this and hit Control D on Windows, Command D on Mac, and put a default dissolve, and look what happens. A dissolve on an adjustment layer does just that. Remember, an adjustment layer is a way to apply an effect on everything below it. So if you add a dissolve to an adjustment layer, it adds a dissolve to everything. So it doesn't work. You can't add a dissolve. What you can do is go to the effects controls. I'm just gonna to go to my uh, home base workspace. Gives me a little bit more room here. And instead, I wanna blur this to there. So I'm going to add a keyframe, go to the beginning and take that to zero. So now it goes from zero to 40, it holds. And I'll wait till it gets to about here. I'll add another 40 clicking in the middle. Now it's 40. And this is the way that I add a keyframe at the end. Instead of going to the end this way, I just go a little bit in here, change that to zero, and then I drag that way. That way I don't have to, to find the end of that clip. So that's it, we're, we've, we're done. Fades up, graphic, gone and blur comes down. Now, I, I mentioned saving this as a uh, preset. You can just right click on Gaussian blur here, save it as a preset and name it blur in. Click. And now when we go to our effects, presets, there it is. So you can't save it with the adjustment layer. You have an adjustment layer and you drag it onto the adjustment layer. 
Okay, and I set that to scale. You probably, well, yeah, that would be good. We'll leave it at scale. Okay, so the other thing that you can use this for is to hide a jump cut. Right now I've got the, this cut of both of them dancing. Watch what happens when I move this jump cut behind. So we've got this dancing clip and this dancing clip. With that blur in there, it's going to be a little softer of a transition between the two. And you come out to a different clip. I think you can do this to things like a, a talking head um, where you instead of jump cuts, which I hate jump cuts when someone's talking, yikes, uh, you can hide that by adding a, a title and a little bit of a blur. Okay, let's go look at my uh, wedding example and we'll have a look at that. Okay, so again, here's another focus. We've got the couple, close up, the little focus, and the title comes up. You can still see them in the background. It, it's, it's almost like a graphic on its own, a big, beautiful title from Motion Array, and title goes and we're back to them. There's another clip at the end, and I specifically uh, use this clip because I liked the fact that I've got a title over here on the left and I've got them on the right. Now this is okay, but we can't see them. Wouldn't it be nice to have three things? The couple, the blur, and the title. You wouldn't believe how easy this is. Let's go over to this clip and look at what we've got. So just like before, we've got a Gaussian blur and it's ramping up from zero to 40. But we also have these masking tools. So if I click on the ellipse, it's going to blur inside the title. If I invert this and then change the mask feather, drag that feather up, maybe drag this down a little bit. Now when I deselect that, look at this. Holy smokes. They look back over where the title is and they're still in focus and the title comes up and the graphic and everything comes together. Pretty simple, but really, really elegant. And, and the, the thing to, to take away from this is it's your job to focus the attention where you want and not have the viewer scramble around and try to figure it out. In, in this frame, it starts out with, with the couple in focus, so you see the whole wide shot, you see them embracing, oh, there's a title that appears and you don't, you read it because it's legible, but then you go back to looking at them. It, it's a nice little view. And if we take this off, I just want you to see how distracting that is. You know, you've got this very busy background and we've got these thin white lines. That is hard to see. So if we turn that on, Boom, one last time. Well, let's do the whole thing. I really like this. Very elegant, very simple. Comes back, there they are. Cut to the next clip. Probably could have did a nice dissolve between that. And we see them and we see the title. That's a winning shot and so easy to do. Save a preset, reuse this. You can have all these in your bag of tricks anytime you want. Now you could have added other things on top of that. Let me just show you that. Here's the adjustment layer. I could go back to my effects. and add a black and white on top of this, and we could add another. <laughs> so 
So we've got them in color. We've got this. And we could have faded that too so that the mask opacity when the blur comes in for that to 100%. So it starts out in color, focuses, fades. Maybe that's a bit much, but you get the idea. Maybe you could put a brightness and contrast. If you're playing with a title that maybe is, is dark and you needed something light, then you could add a brightness and contrast on the adjustment layer and brighten up that layer and isolate the couple. Lots of cool ways to work with this. It's like you're inside Photoshop, inside Premiere Pro, and you're designing the whole frame and the way it looks by focusing different areas uh, and darkening, lightening, and uh, well, you've got lots of control. Hey, if you're new to video reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. We really do appreciate it if you do. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to just have way too much fun and show you how you can use something as simple as a Gaussian blur to control the focus of where you want the viewer to look.